cargo, although there is a fuel bulker here, I suppose. Um, but I would like, yes, a combat ship. Hello everyone, the Ranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 84. We have a wonderful view of the neighboring planet and moon as the sun sets on this really neat ocean planet, but we need to scan for more sunken buildings to keep this quest chain rolling, so let's do that and see how far away we are. It says four minutes, and as you know, four minutes is too long to uh, drive there in a submarine when we can get there in 30 seconds via Starship. So let's go ahead and exit to our Starship. And let's just bypass this Sentinel, perhaps, maybe, hopefully, let me in the ship. Thank you. All right, using a lot of our launch fuel, but I don't care, it's worth our time. 15 second trip across the surface of the ocean. Although, to be quite fair, this is back in the very same direction we were just at, is it not? It's a bit concerning. Look at that vista across the ocean. That's pretty that's pretty legit. Now let's head over here. And we will land on this island. And take the Nautilon over and see what's going on. Because I think they just directed us back to the exact same building we came from. And if that's the case, we may have to travel to a further away section on the planet before we sonar scan again, although I didn't think they would do that during these quests. But perhaps I'm mistaken. And this is indeed a new building. Time will tell. 45 seconds in the radioactive dark deep, although it's not too awful deep. As we all learned from Subnautica, if you can see the surface of the water when you look up, it is not that deep. Ah, uh, this is relatively close to the freighter though, and in the same direction I believe that we came from, although... Uh, let's see, there is no Abyssal Horror over here by this door. Uh, yes, I fear we've already been here, um, but we'll check. We'll see. Abandoned terminal. It is indeed something we've already been to, but it is going to progress the story along. Okay, I would like to read the log. Breach event, 98 souls. Oh, so they did not escape after their three-week incursion. I had the dream again. Oh my. The endless purple waves, mile after mile after mile, a relief at first from that dull crimson ache. But then, I can't escape the feeling there's something else there. I look around and there's nothing. Nothing. I blink and I see them. Faint at first, just lines, but it's unmistakable. Repeated geometric shapes traced in the sky row after row of triangles slowly scrolling past and I can't explain it but it's the most terrible thing I've ever seen it's almost a relief to wake up and see the rain again you guys really need to get off this planet breach vent 399 souls whoa so they've been here a little bit they've gone back to the wretched cave every one of them no one is listening to me we can still build the hyperdrive. I know it. After that, flushing the salt out the launch thrusters will be easy. Breach event, 399 souls. We've all had the same dream. The same rambling, the teeth in the sky, those crystals. It's nonsense. There's nothing else down there. We've taken it all. But what can I do? Maybe I missed something. Maybe they're right. 
One last look won't hurt. Now we must find the remains of the crew. So did I do the right thing? Hmm. Did I do the right thing by not going to check out the alluring specimen of crystals? But they spoke of a cave. Is this these are the armored clams signal lock established we're heading the wrong way four minutes um gosh i hate to keep jumping into our starship and flying there but oh one minute and 30 seconds is such a better trip than four minutes it seems silly to have a spaceship and spend an inordinate amount of time in the submarine because then you're only going to have the submarine back if there's no island nearby to land your starship on. See, that's my biggest fear, is that we'll get four minutes out into the deep water and realize there's nowhere to land the ship. But I suppose if that was going to be a problem, we were going to experience that challenge whether we try to take our ship there or not. But at least we'll know beforehand if we try to take our ship there and there's nowhere to land it. Or perhaps we'll be able to scout in alternate directions for a safe landing area. I still think it's the right move going back for the starship. Oh, look at that crimson sky and the blue dust in the air. Ooh. Nope. I'm not looking at anything, Sentinel. Forgive me. Oh, wait. There's creatures. No, no! Ah! We are leaving immediately. It's one last, one less thing I want to deal with. Oh, it is close to land. Look at this. So we've got this island here. Or the coast over there. I think, um, no, you know what? That island looks a little crowded. Let's just cut over here to, like, the sandy beach area. Yes, right here will work. I have to say, of all the radioactive planets that I've been on, this one definitely has a unique feel to it as far as like, it's got these weird minerals, and the ocean doesn't seem to be that unusual. And it's got these spires of rock. Oh, the little details they add. All right. Let's go see if we can find the remains of the crew. And, of course, it is not that deep here. But they did say the tides on this planet are unusual. And we were reading information from at least 400 souls ago, if not longer. But we don't have much of a frame of reference of how long after the breach event we currently are, just how long after the breach event each stage of theirs was. And it looks like this one also is one we've already been to. They're just bouncing us back and forth between these two. I'm okay with that. Let's see what we have here. Log accessed. Signal echo distorted. Do your thing. Trapped. Sub-reactor leaking. It grabbed me, but they're dead now. Their eyes are all shut. I think my leg is broken. My hand hurts. If I can just find an air tank, I can still get back home. Mm, the recording continues, but it is just hours of scratchy silence, the static of the currents. I have a haunting sensation of being watched. I wonder who this crew really were. Seems I'll never find out. You inherited the helmet of the lost diver. Transform the appearance of your exosuit at an apprentice modifier. Fair enough.
That's it, huh? That's it. Um... Got the cannon, the osmotic generator... Yeah. So I guess there's no upgrades for these. Well, here's what I'm going to do then, is I'm just going to transfer all of this underwater type stuff to the Nautilon, so we can, in fact, start getting our inventory squared away, because I don't see a reason to hold on to this stuff, necessarily. This can go to the starship, which we're too far away for, that's fine. still have a lot of things we don't need to be holding on to in our inventory, but I'm going to hold on to them nonetheless because of reasons. Probably don't need two signal boosters. I don't think that's a thing. And the copper. We're going to use to learn some words from the Corvax, the Phosphorus. I think we may hold on to that just for a bit longer. Okay, this looks good. And then the cargo. Let's see. It's okay for now, but this will need to be straightened out as well. Okay, um, so the one thing we did not get to scan that I was interested in... Let's see, we did the freighter, the sunken building. Let's look for submerged ruins. Nothing. Well, this scan's pretty far away, so if it didn't find anything... But this is where the water is shallow. This isn't even the deep part of the ocean. What if we scanned for another downed starship? Seven minutes. I think we'll go ahead and check that. Sure. Oh, you know what, though? I did want to make a... What? Let's keep... Hydrothermal fuel cell. We need that cytophosphate. So we do have a mining laser on board here, so we can go ahead and get that done. Without even leaving... Without even leaving our vessel here. And then this means we can go ahead and craft one... Hydrothermal fuel cell. And we have a backup. But we're going to need more. Hold on. Um, needs more salt. So let's go ahead and we'll work on some of that. I just want to make sure that if and when the time comes that we want to explore an ocean planet in earnest, of the many that we've seen, we have plenty of fuel that we can just go and explore. Uh, but the submarine still feels slow. It, uh, it well and truly does. So I think... I think we will very much buy another S-Class Humboldt Drive, even though... Wait, wait, wait. So... It really gives a lot of boost power. But but not much on the top speed, and not much on the fuel efficiency. Perhaps those aren't the best. Or perhaps maybe we need to figure out how to put a booster on the submarine. We may have to go check the Exocraft upgrade station at the space station, just to get an idea. If there are upgrades maybe we missed or backburnered that I have merely forgotten about. No, stay away from me. I do not wish to fight you at this time. Thank you for everything that you've done. 
I don't have any way of knowing if this drowned starship is one that we've already been to or not. No, wait, wait, wait. We had to slingshot all the way around the planet. Okay, we'll check this one out. Because we did, we had to slingshot all the way around the planet to get here. And so odds are, this is something new and different than what we last saw. Ooh, I might not even need this submarine. Hold on. Can we land on this odd rock here? No, we cannot. So we will need the submarine. Oh, is it going to be worth it? It may be, uh, for all I know. For all I know, that's a S-Class ship down there just waiting for me to grab it for free. Okay. We're going to do this. This will be our last hoorah of an adventure on this planet. Let's get our Nautil on. We shall go underwater. And we'll use this time to gather up a few more things that we need. There we go. Let's see if we can get it on the move. That would be ideal. Okay. That'll work. I just realized the name of my... Oh, no. Okay. I, I was like, it's the Nautilon Exocraft, but I'm looking down at the bottom left corner. So the name of the planet is Woden Serb Sigma. Woden Serb. pretty interesting. All in all, this ocean's rather benign. I would have expected such a deep ocean on a radioactive planet to be a little more dangerous. Fighter C-Class Garbaggio. Nothing good for us here. Stress Beacon? What is this going to give us? The opulently furnished interior suggests the dead pilot once belonged to one of its race's more affluent families, even though it has a, uh, a low class of ship. The cause of the its mid-flight demise is unclear, but the ship is likely to be carrying a decent cargo. The body lies draped over a large box covered in dangerous-looking alien markings. A strange black mist surrounds the scene. I'm thinking open the box. As I open the box, a dark energy channels through me like poison. The tech I find within the container has come at a cost. Movement module C. Mm, okay, fair enough. It's uh, nanites. We'll hold on to it. Nanite clusters. Okay, so it's a crummy ship. A C-class fighter. Nothing to be excited about whatsoever. That being said, let us head back to our starship. And then I think it's time to leave this planet, as I've seen enough of this ocean. Although, to be fair... After we, we started our quest at a very deep part of the ocean, it seems like it would have had a lot of goodies scattered on the ocean floor, and then now we are here over here where it's shallower and close to land. Perhaps we would do better to go out into the middle of the ocean? Mm. I think if I'm going to explore an ocean planet, though, I want it to be one that I'm going to set up an aquatic base on. Right. So that's going to be the mission, is the next pla the next planet with an ocean that we like, that we want to set up an aquatic base on, that will be the planet that we explore in earnest with the Nautilon. For the time being, though, let us 
vacate this planet. Because I don't think we have another reason to be here. Head to this asteroid belt. Again, I kind of like that color differentiation, but... And what sort of planets were you with these large oceans? Another radioactive planet. So we have a decaying nuclear planet with copper that's activated due to extreme weather. And this one, Woden Serb Sigma, is just considered a radioactive planet. So we have a radioactive planet and a decaying nuclear planet. Big difference, apparently. And it looks like we're parked over here by the space station. Okay, let us travel back to our capital ship. Nope, nope, nope. Pull away, pull away. I'm not sure. I guess I guess we need to assess if some of these frigates are damaged. I didn't think they were. I know we had the one damaged in the last expedition, but as I was reading the comments, somebody was telling me they were damaged before that. No, oh, so it's not this one. Oh, hold up. Oh, no, let's not let's not get all weird like that. Where are these ships that are jumping in here? Aha. What sort of frigates do you have for sale? No frigates. It looks like nothing but cargo, although there is a fuel bulker here, I suppose. Um, but I would like, yes, a combat ship. Inspect your frigate. Please be B-class or higher. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Combat specialist. Expedition fuel cost. Exploration combat. Oh, I accept these terms. Please join my fleet. Thank you. That is wonderful. Oh, we've got more ships warping in? We do. Oh no, these are. Oh, this is mine. Oh, it was my. It was. It was the ship I just paid warping into formation. I guess it had to get a running start. It's a little ragtag crew. I kind of wish I could coordinate everyone's paint schematic. Sort of a iridescent fleet with all the different colors. Okay, so what we'll do, rather than land on each and every frigate, we'll go see if there's a way we can assess the status of our frigates from inside, as I'm sure there is from the command station. And that way we don't have to try to land on each and every single frigate. Ooh, ooh stop it. Stop it. All right, let us assess our refiners. Because we've got more dihydrogen jelly. And we could possibly ever use. And the whole point is to get more dihydrogen so that we can make more frigate fuel. We already have lots of tritium. Okay. That being said, let's go ahead here to the freighter and let us craft and craft and craft. Look at all that frigate fuel. Hey, we're starting to clear out the inventory. See, it's starting to be clear now. Look at all this. It's getting there. It's getting there. But this stuff I want to keep. All these little nitnoids I actually have for a reason. Mm, I could 
get another Lorenz shield. I think that's probably what we want to do there. Starships, we're down to 300 tritium. We will need more of that. Made some room on the freighter. It's probably almost time to start processing this residual goop. Ah, this multi-tool is just a hodgepodge of garbage. I don't even want to look at it. It's so disappointing. But I have yet to find a better multi-tool, so... And more dihydrogen. Good night. Do we really have that much dihydrogen? We do, but we processed it all in a way that we don't have any more... Um jelly, so... I think what we need to do is just take this, process it into however much we can. No, that's going to take a long time. Actually, disregard. I think uh, we'll just hold on to it for the time being. Let's debrief our starships that have returned. Calibrating to Fleet Commander, I would like to debrief you. On a trade expedition, we docked at a space station, configured AI for diplomacy, and got insider trading data for a third of a million dollars, or units. Traded goods between planets, profit margin 144%, another third of a million units. Fleet arrived in Corvax controlled system. Gifted local entities cartographic data. Gathered fusion accelerant times three. I believe that's worth a lot, actually. Got five GEC relics due to currency fluctuations. And that was the end of the expedition. Fusion Accelerant. We have quite a few Corvax casings. Gek relics. We're likely going to have to stop at a space station somewhere and just make all of the friends in the world that we can. We're getting it organized. We're getting there. We have a superconductor, and we have fusion accelerant. Whoa! 4.5 million units. Oh, well, there's three of them. So there are 1.5 million units each as well. Oh, boy. That just about paid for the new combat frigate. Just about. My goodness. In fact, that that did that did pay for the new combat frigate. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And we did not send a second expedition. That is right. We did not. Now, did we take a mission from here? Dangerous pirates, planetary harvester. I want none of those. Let us dispatch some expeditions. <sighs> Why can we not do this one? So we got a one-star trade and a one-star industrial. Uh, let's continue with the trade because it's money in the bank. And I think... Okay, so these, these ships have red on them. And I think that's what people were talking about uh, with repairs. However... I was pretty sure that was not the case. Uh, let's manage our fleet. Let's look. So I'm pretty sure the red, yeah, is a negative trait that the ship has just because it's a low class. So, for example, this has a minus two trading because the captain is very rude. But as it levels up and does expeditions and upgrades from C class to B class to A to S, the negative traits will drop off and beneficial traits will be added to the ship. But I don't think any of these are physically damaged. They, this one just has malfunctioning drones, uncalibrated warp drive. Uh, these aren't things that you can fix by landing on them. I'm not sure where the damage would show, though, so I'm, I'm thinking maybe there is a ship with damage, and I'm just not aware of it, but wouldn't it indicate it somewhere on these? Well, look at this one. Ooh, yes. The Merchant Cruiser. Hmm. 
need more A-class. I need way more A-class. We need more frigates. I want a massive fleet. Okay. Let's spend some of that frigate fuel that we just purchased or created. We'll do this trade expedition. And I think we're going to send the C-class merchant vessel. And we'll send a supply vessel. Let's just see. What does that give us? Fleet rating of 2. Difficulty rating of 1. Could send the combat frigate but it's a simple it's a simple expedition we'll just send that out the next one will be I think we'll do this industrial mission so we will send our mining vessel and I suppose the fuel bulker fleet rating of two compared to one you are also authorized an expedition. Wow, we could probably do a third expedition. Oh, we're going to need another fleet command room here pretty soon. Eventually. Um, but no, no. For the time being, we are going to go to the next Atlas station. That we currently have things set up as. Our waypoint up here. Boom. So we're looking at a yellow star, three planets, one planet having two moons, it's Viking, and er, we don't have economy or conflict level data we need to start. We're going to have to get those upgrades for our fighter starship. So that's something we can work on. But we're going here anyways, regardless of the economy and conflict level for our Atlas path. Wonderful, at the Butyorevi system. I butchered that, I'm sure. Oh, I feel like they're getting harder to pronounce. Let's see if our empty refiners have yielded any sort of bonus resources. No, okay, so it turns out emptying both refiners is the proper way to get them to clear out. I suppose I could... Oh, that's right, something else we had spoken about in the comments. Before I do read the comments... Uh, Gravitino balls, we can sell these. And at this point, oh, all of this stuff needs to be moved over. I don't know why we're... Ah. We could start processing this Pugnium. As I understand it, we actually have quite a bit on ourselves as well. Right, so I think what we will do is we'll begin to process this, yep, into nanite clusters, might as well, using reality filtering. Ooh, interesting. Let's keep that train rolling. It's not so bad. It's actually fast. I mean, they're nanites. We'll get this stuff out of our inventory. It doesn't take a lot of time. I think the next one is this 236. Reality filtering. That's a scary process. Boy, this sci-fi refinery magic is... It, it can be intimidating. Alright, I think that's good. And then we'll sell the Gravitino balls. And, oh, we have plants to harvest as well. But that's where we're going to wrap up no Man's Sky, episode 84. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you've had a good time watching, though. Because as always, I have had a good time playing. Please be sure to come back next time as we continue making progress along our Atlas path. And also... Hopefully start being on the lookout for manufacturing facilities and probably underground salvageable technology. And we'll see what this system has to offer us as far as planets and space station materials. But until next time, take care.